heard me. I am coaching now. Well, what's up, Hamis? Uh, episode 5, Dallas Mavs, my league. We come into you live from my PlayStation 4. Uh, before this episode, we're going to take a look around the league, though. Check out the power rankings, uh, league leaders, you know, little stuff like that. Just kind of let y'all know what's happening, you know, around the rest of the league. Because, you know, we, we're not the only team in the league. You know, that's the only team you're going to see other than whoever we play that night. Uh, I didn't really pay that much attention. I think the, the Lakers are number one. I could be wrong. I wasn't really paying attention when I was scrolling through. Uh, Looking at some of the stat leaders. And Porzingis, his, his defense, man. Like, we lead the league in shot blocks, right? Uh, blocks per game is about to come up. But he affects so much more than that. Like, there's the passing lanes that you don't think he can get to. He's there, you know. The shots you don't think he can affect, he's there. And then I can combine that with what uh, Kleber does, with what Carly Stein does. Even, you know, to a, to a lesser extent, defensively, what Powell does. But, man, our size is really paying off dividends. Um, we made, like I said, some changes to the starting lineup. I moved Hardaway up, moved Carly Stein in there. We've been slowly taking minutes away from Powell. Carly Stein's just playing really, really good. And we've kind of gone away from Courtney Lee, but we, we'll come back to that. He's he's a good on-ball defender and uh, may be our best pure shooter as far as his three-point rating goes. But we got a game plan the Lakers, which means stopping AD and LeBron. My thought is, I'm, I think I'm going to put, uh, of course, Finney Smith on LeBron. And we're just going to force the rest of the Lakers to beat us. Which does include Anthony T uh, Davis, because I think we can defend Anthony Davis better than we can defend LeBron. Like, there's, there's no real player who can defend LeBron. But I think if we can uh, get the ball out of his hands more than he wants the ball out of his hands. Like, LeBron wants the ball in his hands so he can dictate and he can pick and choose, you know, who's doing what to you. We just want to kind of control that and then defend Davis straight up. So we're going to see if this works out for us. Taking a look at the Lakers. They hold the first place spot in the conference just right where they want to be. They've got momentum. No one knew quite what to make of entering the season. But as the year's gone on, it's become clear. <laughs> the jump ball. And now the Lakers starting group. I got to get better at those. The incredible forward pair. So we, we wanted to start by, you know, locking up LeBron. First thing he does is dunk on us. Like, <laughs> all right. And then we responded by hitting a bunch of threes. Like, this this would be a theme of the night. Uh, spoiler alert: We hit a lot of threes here. I had a layup, but three. You know, I don't know how your math is, but three is more than two. Uh, this right here, I thought that was a shot, but AD just kind of came out of nowhere, man. Like that's that's another dude. That's wild, man. All right, here's here's LeBron. I don't want to foul LeBron. I probably should have fouled LeBron, make him shoot free throws as opposed to that layup, but it is what it is here. You know, some floppy action, trying to get good shots. Curry open is a great shot. We ran good offense pretty much all night. Like, we were getting open shots. One of the things the Lakers were doing, they were getting good shots, but it was the wrong guy taking them. Like, they missed a lot of shots. It was a lot of, like, Kuzma and... Danny Green was just terrible this game. I I don't really know what to say about that. Other than, I mean, he was terrible in the playoffs, but, yo. This game, it could have been way different if he was making the shots, some of the shots he was getting. But he wasn't. Okay, right here, I just waited for Doncic to get to the post. So he had a little guy on him. And, you know, he, he's 6'6", 215, 220. 
you know, he, he's solid. He's, he's good through contact here. Force him out to the corner. More threes. I'm all about threes. Layups and threes. Not necessarily, you know, taking quick shots, but those are the types of shots I want to take. I want a foot in the paint, and I want two feet behind the three-point line. I, we live with those shots, the, the contested mid-range. If we can get you to take that, we'll live. They didn't guard Finney Smith all night. Like, they were just kind of disrespecting him until the second half. They got a little tighter in the second half, but, like, he just kept getting open looks. And he was making them. Here, poor box out by us. JaVale McGee making a hustle play. You, you know, it happens. <clears throat> Here, you know, I'm being patient, trying to end the quarter the right way. Because, you know, those those little moments, the end of the first quarter, the end of the second quarter, those points you don't really remember, those are the ones that will bust you here. We get good offense, open three. Like I said, more threes. Look at Finney Smith. Nobody. LeBron. Stop disrespecting my mans. Some tremendous defensive play. Help them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. And Kenny, what are your Here. thoughts on how? <laughs> well, they're making a it's funny. I didn't. I didn't put that play in the uh, <laughs> in the edit. Once again, I'll probably just keep mentioning it. Doncic does not have 12 assists at halftime. That's just a. Uh, some kind of glitch with the game where it shows the uh, the top performer for the home team with way more assists than they have. So we're up exactly 20 at halftime. We, we do score in our first possession. And then defense, we give up another one. Yo, Davis just kind of disappears and then reappears at the rim in the air. Like It happened a couple of times. He goes on a mini run to start the second half. And... It was one of those situations where I'm like, okay, we played so well in the first half. There's no way. Like, as good as they are, we can't let this happen, and it's happening. So we, we call timeout. <laughs> and after every timeout, we go right back to Doncic. Just just kind of force spoon feed them. Here we get the, the floor spaced out a little bit. And we'll take out, you know, post up Rondo anytime we can. Uh, we go back to, to, to Doncic running the pick and roll because it gets us good offense. But we get a little more space than I was expecting here on the step back. <clears throat> like, wow, I don't I don't know what happened there. Uh, here, LeBron just gets a layup. Like, it's like we didn't want to touch him. I wanted to be real physical with LeBron. I'd rather LeBron shoot 10 free throws than two layups, honestly. Here's just good offense. It's good offense. Lots of open shots. Lots of making open shots. Here I'm gonna pitch, uh, get it out again to Porzingis. That young man had himself a night. If he can stay healthy, we're gonna have a good season. I mean, I can see us winning 55 to 60 games. Uh, maybe even more than that, depending on you know what kind of trade we make. So we will be making some moves. We got a lot of contracts on this team. I do not like. And we need more perimeter D. Like we just do. You can never have enough defense. Oh yeah, this one. You know, one of, another one of those where he just keeps moving. And dunking on LeBron and Rondo at the same time, bro. <laughs> oh man, this was just... I couldn't figure out what was going on, but... Rondo open three. We, we'll kind of live. Here, we're trying to double team, and we don't get there fast enough, and it results in some uh, some poor play on the backside. Fast break time, push the ball, pull up. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know, threes. We're at home. We're, we're on a roll. We're up 18. must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in that shot, I was surprised that one went in. Because Dodgers does not shoot a high percentage. He's not like a 38, you know, 40, 42% three-point shooter. 
is because he takes bad ones. With me, he'll probably be, you know, closer to 40. But here, this was this was this the dagger of the night. Doncic with another three. I immediately went to subbing out the uh, the starters and putting in the bench guys. Uh, Doncic, you know, led us in scoring, 14 assists. Finney Smith had himself a night. Ironically, uh, we were pretty balanced. We hit a lot of threes, but it was just a, it was a constant barrage. And the offensive game plan since that uh, Portland loss has really been to push the tempo, shoot the three, and when in doubt, you know, when, when things are looking bleak, we're just going to give the ball to Doncic and high pick, high pick and roll, pick and pop, go to work, you know. We'll, we'll, we'll claw our way out the uh, trenches that way. Alright. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the video. Um, guys, hit that like button. Hit the sub button, you know, blow up the comments, let's uh, grow the channel. I want to produce more content more often, and I've been doing that now. I'm going to get a consistent schedule for y'all, so that's it for this video. Keep tuning in. Thank y'all, and y'all have a good one. I am coaching now.